All right, so now we're completely done. Blackboard used for strategy meetings. Let's save. Since I just did all that work, like in one sitting, which was about an hour worth of stuff, really. I guess it really was. So the way the poop book is back in order. Now oh, back to combat. Come on, the stupid system is comboing me as well. I really wonder what's the point. Like, why would you want to have quick run on and dodge roll? I'd have to ask someone who really knows this game, like, is there any point or am I just wasting a slot? Like, do I only need one or the other? And if so, which one is better, you know? Like, is quick run better or is it is dodge roll better? These guys are kicking my ass right now because I'm trying to get away from this stupid system from hitting me. Spike that bitch. me with overdue library books. Alright, Donald's level 50. I'm only 15,000 away. Nothing major, you know. Alright, I'm running past these guys. Yeah, the Bailey is completely destroyed. Holy crap. The Bailey completely changes in design. Bump that- Ah, I couldn't land in time. Where's he going? Oh, Goofy has him. Goofy's abducting him like an alien. Spike that shit. No, I just realized we haven't fought any nobodies in a while. I thought the second half of the game would be, like, really nobody-centric, and apparently it really isn't. That's it? I killed them all with Rising Sun. Rising Sun is really good. At least let me finish the damn combo. Look at that shit. That's crazy. But yeah, to get, um, like I was saying, like, oh wait, hold on, something gonna happen, or... Okay, as I was saying a couple hours ago, when I first started up this session, when I showed you when I was grinding in, uh, Hades' is, is Kingdom, I went down here, and down here, if you go through the first room to the other side, which, you know, involves some platforming, there's a room that you need Glide to get through. So I'm not going to go back down there because obviously I can't do anything yet because I don't have Glide, but you need to, like, glide between a bunch of posts... And once you do so, who the hell? Oh, it's the... It's Yuna and her friends. 
But once you go through there, I guess you can move on to probably like a secret fight or something. Liars! What? Leon doesn't have any treasure! And we fought for you guys. Donald! Well, I had to play him something. I don't see how we're gonna work this out. So what should we do? How about we turn them back to normal size? Sure, taking their sweet time. We're just going to take your treasure. But we don't have anything. You sure? She's gonna steal. She's gonna mug. <laughs> Take a look. Okay, we've decided. The Gullwings are taking all your items. Nope. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, Foofy. This stinks. So not cool. Look, sorry we tricked you, but... Forget about it. Leon told us the whole story. He said your journey's been pretty rough. So it wouldn't really be right if we took your things. We'll root for you. Here, this is from us. Oh. Bye. Good luck on your journey. Cool, but I don't, I don't understand why they're small. Yuna is a perfectly sized woman. Okay. Probably like five foot something. The Gullwing. Increase the amount of experience gained when defeating enemy. Okay, that's I already have that. See, that's the problem of putting abilities on Keyblades. Some of these abilities I've had since literally the start of the game, so they're worthless. If I wanted to put them on, I would have put them on. Riku, I think, is a bit shorter than Yuna. I don't know how big the other one is. I didn't play 10-2, at least not yet. But they're all perfectly tall. Like, they're, they're probably taller than Sora is if, you know, you were to put them side by side. So I don't know why they're small. There's a lot of enemies. I think I'll be dashing past most of them. So you can't perfectly combo guard roll into itself anymore. You used to be able to, you can't in this game. Gosh, it's only us. Can't talk to Tron if this room gets taken over. Did you check in with Sid? Uh-huh. And the Eradicator? It's almost done. Great. Say, Leon, why don't you go work with Sid? I have this place under control. Are you sure all by yourself? Sorry, it's all yours. How's Tron? Still can't get in touch with him. Maybe you guys should give it a shot. No, we'll go talk to him in person. I have a favor to ask. When you find Tron, could you tell him to come to the IO Tower? That's where we'll upload the MCP Eradication Program. The IO Tower, got it. Thanks, and watch your backs. Sleeping Lion, well balanced with strength and magic, increasing maximum ground based combos by one. Obey the MCP. We'll be there soon, Tron. So, what is Sleeping Lion like a something from Leon, I guess? So, what, no more Oath Keeper? Hmm, how much was Sleeping Lion? It's a five. 
All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this... What the hell? Where did I just put it? Where'd it go? Oh, here it is. I'll put the Oath Keeper over here. So that way when I go into Valor, it'll extend the time I'm in Valor. This will help me overall more. Valor is basically the one I use for just about everything anyway. Alright, to the Pit Cell. This looks so painful, man. <laughs> Good thing this is a kid's game. I'll be seeing this shit in my sleep. Remember in Tales of Exilia when people were going to get uh, turned to data? That was pretty rough. Okay. Me too. Let's head for the game grid. Great. The terminal works. Let's go. We're going to have to play on the light cycles again, aren't we? That's one thing I don't want to do. There's, there's a better chain. I forget what it's called. I still have 51 potions in stock. I really should start buying high potions. I'll buy 31. And I'll probably need to buy some tents for the final couple of worlds here. So that way in between fights I don't have to go in weak. Oh, wait, hold on. Ooh, we can make defense boosts. Well, we can make one. A petite ribbon. I have plenty of aura chalcum. I just need to find way more mithril gems. And also dark crystals. I gotta, like, figure out where to find these, period. And once I find them, that's all I'm ever gonna make. And I'm going to grind the hell out of that, unless it's like a really low drop rate. Alright, wherever I was recently got me a lot of Lucid Stones. So I can actually make these two. We have a Power Stone and Lucid Stone. There you go. Increase Moogle's level. Extremely increases defense. All, right, all I need to do is have him make one more thing. Something like this. That's worth like a good amount. Soldier's earring was pretty good. What's an expert's ring again? I don't remember. Synthesized item of higher quality. Hmm... I wonder what this will... A fencer earring. Highly increases maximum AP and strength and also increases magic. Rank C recipe materials cut in half. Only items in creation can be synthesized using only half the materials. Fencer earring requires one serenity stone. What about the expert ring? Oh, that would that would take up all my mithril crystals. Aren't those the ones I need for uh, other stuff? Now, let's try this. Let's put a serenity shard on it now. I got plenty of these. Whoops, I hit quit by accident. 
Thundog Gun Charm or Trinket. Let's make one of these Serenity Shard and Bright Shards. Thera Gun. Alright. It's pretty good. Fencer's Earring. I was not expecting that. Let's let's just put it on. AP of five, strength of two, magic of one. All right, yeah, I got. I'm gonna replace the soldier earring. Might as well put something on for him. Put on the soldier earring, which is better. I have two AP boosts I didn't use. Alright, so I have three now. I can put on Magnet Burst, which I might. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put on Magnet Burst. Alright, I'm basically getting everything I want now. I could make another one of these. I'd be really set if I could put that one on. Alright, good. Synthesizing with the Moogle has really, really helped me out. So just to kind of test the waters really quick. Nope. Kicks my ass. Actually, my teammates are not nearly as bad as I am. This is a cool looking keyblade. Can't get it. All right, I think I think I know where we're gonna go for this this chapter in Space Paranoids. We gotta go the other way that we didn't go before, across the way. Here we go, light cycle. There's a toy plane in the ceiling. Finished? Would be. The work for the old loon's magic. Old loon, you say? I'm trying to work here. <laughs> I'll show you who's old. Oh boy, here we go. He has a hot temper. Done. There you go, Leon. One homemade program. A loony wizard special. This had better work. I'm off. Be on your guard. He destroyed his computer. And now he's gonna murder Sid. He had one of those Matrix computers, you remember? The Matrix had, had like the green screen and all that stuff flying all over the place. Yeah, please don't let me do, you know, have to do this. Careful! Watch out! I don't want to escape on the light cycles again. Oh, okay. Combat I can do. Combat is my specialty. 
What's Quick Blade? I've never seen that before. It's probably its special command. I'm stuck! Oh, it's, just, it's a counter move. Can't get a combo on him because there's not much to hit on the ground. Let me use a, a potion. What is this shit? Shocking the shit out of me. Okay, two of these guys are just flat out annoying. That one. Wait, where'd the other one go? Oh, my teammates finished it off. Okay, I was not expecting that. They finished him off. really saved me. Don't mention it. What's going on here? The MCP is ready to wage all-out war against the users. What's been happening on the outside? Well, there's this machine making uh, for making Heartless. It's gone totally berserk. The town's control system is having problems, too. But Sid's putting together a program that can de-res the MCP. Once we pick it up at the IO tower, he thinks we can use it to stop the MCP for good. Let's try it. Great. So who's this Sid? He's a friend of ours. Leon, Merlin, Aerith, Yuffie, they're all on the outside worrying about you, Tron. I must have a lot of user friends. That program ought to be done by now, don't you think? To the tower. Let's go. Good, I didn't have to ride the cycle. Whew. I've been saved from a terrible fate. Only thing is, I don't know how to fight these monsters. Some of these guys just have, like, you know, massive attacks that you can't really get in on. Probably magic, which is not my forte in this game. They got rid of arrow and they got rid of gravity. All right, he got him. Oh, I was wondering what that was. It's it's the freaking limit. This is bad for him. It's like they're stuck on me and they can't get off. Wait, is this the IO Tower? Oh, I thought we didn't go this way. What's that way? I don't remember. And forget it. Leon's making a run for it. and work. Almost there. Let's fight him. Three of them, we got it. If you all the heartless and head for the IO tower. Oh yeah, that's right. My combo is now too longer than what I grinded with earlier today, so I'm not used to it. 
Thank you. This guy's shocking me, right? Fucking and carrying me above him. Come on, he's fucking torturing me. I hate this monster already. Alright. Sora's close to leveling up. Come on, he's about to die. I'm gonna have to heal. Healing is fine, it's just he didn't... It's an annoying attack. Slow one's like a bomb. Alright, this one will level me up. He just grabbed me or no? I think that was Magnet first. There you go. Level up. Strength increased. 